guys! It's Fangirl with Mel here. I'm doing an entry for Cuz Buzz's 100 subscriber giveaway. I'm really excited about this one, guys, because these guys are kind of very similar to me as they love Back to the Future and nerdy stuff. I um, really want to support their channel. It looks really, really cool. I only found it a couple weeks ago, but it looks awesome, guys. Um, and they're doing really cool stuff with their channel already, and they're only at 100 subscribers, and so that's like massively cool. Oh, actually, they're at 201 now. I just looked at their channel. Good for you guys. Congratulations. You're catching up with me really quickly. Um, so they asked um, us to answer a couple questions and also to sing if we wanted. I will be trying to sing, guys. Please don't make fun of my voice, because it's really, really bad. I am not a good singer. And funny enough, I was in the school musical as part of the choir. Good job, high school. <laughs> you picked the worst singer possible. Um, so they asked us to answer a few questions. Um, so the first one was, uh, if you could have any superpower in the world, what would it be? Now, I thought about this really long and hard, guys, because you guys know I love Back to the Future and I love time travel. And I was like, ooh, what's the best superpower I could possibly have? And it's like, I thought, ooh, maybe I could control squirrels like Squirrel Girl. And it's like, nah, that's not a good power. Or maybe I could fly. And I thought, nah, that's kind of boring. So I thought I would have the ability to ma manipulate time and space. Doesn't that sound awesome, guys? So I get to time travel and use teleportation. So because uh, with time travel, you usually can't travel in space, uh, like the place you are as well. You just travel through time. But if you had teleportation, you could travel in space as well. So I could be anywhere, anytime I wanted to be. So like, I'm late for work, I'm at work <laughs> really quickly. Or I can slow down time, or I can speed it up. If I want to be at Disney World, I'm there. And if I want to be at Disney World when Walt Disney was still alive and used to go to Disneyland, I could be at Disneyland. Oh my god, that would be so awesome, wouldn't it? Cool. So, I would definitely have the ability to manipulate time and space. Sounds like an awesome power. A bit like a hero from, um, Hiro Nakamura from Heroes, really. That's the kind of power I would want if I was going to be a superhero. Sounds awesome to me. Okay, so then they said, um, if you could be stuck in a movie for the rest of your life, who would you be? Now, I really like to say Back to the Future 2. Because I love the future and Back to the Future 2. And I'd love to be Marty McFly. But except for, I don't really want to be a guy. And I don't think that's quite fair. And they did suggest that I could be Marty's daughter. And it's like, nah, she's a bit ugly. <laughs> Sorry. She, Mar Michael J. Fox does not make an attractive woman. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so I decided if I was going to be in a movie and I was going to be a character, I would want to be Mulan. Um, sounds like a weird one, actually. But Mulan is one of my favorite movies. One of my favorite Disney movies. And I just think Mulan is awesome. She is a Disney princess that also kicks butt. And I'd want to be that person. So not only would I get to save China from the Huns and I have a bit of an adventure and have a talking dragon. That'd be so cool. I get to be with Shang. And he's hot. <laughs> I think it works out very well for me. <laughs> I think I could definitely live in China then. Definitely. Um, yeah. I get to see the Great Wall whenever I wanted. I get to be beautiful like Mulan and I get to see Shang whenever I wanted. It'd be pretty good. I'd like it. I think I definitely want to live in Mulan if I could live in a movie. Okay, here comes the really bad part, guys. They want me to sing. I don't sing well. So if you value your eardrums, <laughs> you will turn off this video now and not listen to me sing because <laughs> it's not going to be good. Um, I was tempted to sing Johnny Be Good, but I'm not going to. I uh, decided I was going to sing the song that goes along with the place I'd like to be, which is my favorite Disney song, I'll Make a Man Out of You. So let's, I know you guys know the lyrics, so sing along with me. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Did they send me daughters when I asked for sons? You're the saddest bunch I've ever met. But you can bet before we're through, Mr. I'll make a man out of you. Okay, that's all I'm doing. <laughs> I think that's enough of it. But it is the best Disney song ever, guys. Isn't it? Isn't it the best Disney song? Best Disney song ever. Uh, thanks for watching my entries, guys. Um, please go check out Cosmos and their awesome channel. They're doing giveaways. Seems like everybody is doing a giveaway now, including myself. So if you want to check out my giveaway, go check out my giveaway as well.
but make sure you check out Cosbuzzes and support their channel because they're going to grow really fast. They're already at 200 subscribers. I bet in a couple weeks they'll be at 1,000. They're that good, guys. So go check out their channel and enjoy their nerdy stuff. Oh, by the way, Cosbuzz. Just by the way, do you have a hoverboard mug? Do you have a hoverboard mug? No, I don't think so. We know who the ultimate Back to the Future fan here is. Yeah, we know. Okay, see you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>